we have to constantly try things, yeah. Try new things, yeah. Now, me, I don't mind taking risks, I don't mind failing, yeah. Especially when it comes to business. I will spend the grand on something and, and waste my money, yeah, if it's a business investment or whatever. You know, yeah? But at certain times, yeah, like don't even want to call it like doubting yourself or whatever, in it, yeah, but it's like you think it's oh, I might not be able to do that or whatever, in it, yeah. Sometimes you gotta just try new things. You don't know what the fucking result is gonna be. Trust me. Trust me. You see my hallway. You lot saw my hallway before, and there was a lot of junk in there, but I don't know if you saw the floor, if you can remember the floor, right? There, there was no floor in it, it was just the subfloor in it, the concrete. And for months, arcs and idea, yeah. I'll be indecisive about what I'm gonna do with that floor. Cause I know what I wanted to get, but I didn't want to pay the money. Yeah, that's the, this is where the indecisiveness comes from. Yeah, I'll be in a cheap pass, yeah. And I, I've got money, but I I just don't wanna I don't wanna pay no one to do no work in my house. Yeah, I'm a fucking cheap pass, yeah. Cause I don't I don't want no one doing no work in my house. So yeah, I'd rather do it myself well, Yeah. So before I never knew how to lay carpet. Yeah. I just tried it out and it's not the greatest job. You can tell someone's an amateur who's done it, whatever, but I've got better at doing the carpet, whatever, yeah? So I slightly got better at doing carpet, yeah? Remember, I'm just an electrician, yeah? I'm an electrician. I don't know about laying carpet. I don't know about doing this or doing that, yeah? I just, I'm an electrician. I just about know how to paint, but I'm an electrician. So I laid the carpet in two rooms upstairs. That's cool. Lay the carpet upstairs and the stairs going down, the steps going down, cool. Lay the carpet in my living room and dining room that I showed you, yeah? It's a, a it's called Star Twist Grey, it's like a light grey colour, really. In the hallway, yeah? Hold on one second. Yeah, in the hallway, um, I was going to get lino. You know that floor vinyl stuff that you roll up, yeah? Now, to apply it is similar to carpet. It comes on a roll you spray down some spray and you stick it down or whatever. Now, I wanted to get the lino on the floor because I was being cheap, yeah? I knew I could do it and I knew it was gonna be uh, inexpensive, yeah? But deep down, I didn't really want the lino, I wanted to get towels, yeah? I didn't want to get carpet because I know like it might get a bit dirty or whatever in it, yeah, because it's in the main bit of the house as you come in or whatever. Now I know I won't get it dirty, but I'd have to be all OCD with people coming over, oh don't step here and that shit. So anyway, the best thing to do is get type of flooring that you can clean up properly and, and mop up properly easily, isn't it? Yeah, that can get dirty, that you can clean. You don't want to get carpet dirty, yeah. So I thought to myself, well, I don't know how to do wooden flooring and I didn't really want to get it. So my only option was to get lino. Now I went down to the shop to buy the lino and I couldn't get it because they said to me it's going to take two weeks. So I said, oh, fuck it. I went home and then I was thinking, oh, I was watching a couple of tiling videos or whatever, innit? I said, yeah, it would be nice to get the tiles done, but I don't want to pay the money. Yeah, and I don't know how to do it myself. So I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Uh, I'll, 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 I'm gonna have to settle for the line or whatever. And it's not gonna look too bad in it, but I'm gonna have to settle for the line. I prefer the towels. And then the next day, right, I said to myself, Do you know what? Right, let me go out. I need to make a decision now and and I need to go and buy this liner. And as I was driving my car down to like maybe central Northampton where all the retail shops are and that, I was driving my car and I said to myself, what, what's your problem, Jay? Are you scared to make a mistake? Are, are you afraid to try and lay some tiles? Yeah, are you afraid to make a mistake? Like, what is the worst thing that's going to happen? Yeah, when you lay these tiles and you get it wrong. Worst case scenario, yeah, you remove it and then you just put the line all down. Or if you're in love with it that much, but you fucked it up, you can always just call someone and pay someone to do it. Yeah, although I didn't want to pay no one. I was driving in my car and I said to myself, Jay, are you scared to make a mistake? Go to B&Q, fuck the lino, yeah? Go to B&Q and buy one tile. Get the tile, take it home and lay the tile, yeah? That's all you need to do, yeah? Don't be afraid to make a mistake, yeah? 
Just one time. Now, some people be like, oh, Jay, man, that goes against everything that you say, whatever, in it, yeah? Listen, at the end of the day, right, I'm an electrician. I don't know about tiling, yeah? It's a difficult job. It's, I know it's difficult, yeah? Because I would have probably tried it ages ago, whatever, in it, yeah? But you know what? I need to just try this one time, yeah? I don't mind if I fuck it up, yeah? But I need to just say I've tried it. I said to myself, Jay, are you scared to make a mistake? Yeah, just one towel. Go to the shop, buy one towel and lay it on the floor and see how you get on. Yeah, I bought three boxes of towels. Yeah, this is one of the towels. This thing's been lying. I had this thing sitting here, yeah, for like since the beginning of the live stream because this is one of the props I wanted to talk about in here. So, this is a ceramic towel, isn't it? Yeah, now I would never buy these towels again, they look nice. But ceramic, anyone wants to buy ceramic towels, yeah? I would say don't. Buy porcelain towels. Ceramic towels are cheaper, but porcelain towels are much stronger. They're much heavy, more heavy duty. These towels, they chip. Yeah? I had to, yeah? They chip, they chip, they shit. Yeah? So I bought three boxes of towels. There's seven towels in each box. Now, I know I said one towel, but I just bought three boxes of towels. I said to myself, you know what, yeah? Let me just buy a couple boxes. Let me try and lay some towels. And if I fuck it up, yeah, then I'll just take it up. Either call someone to do it properly or uh, I'll just get the line all done or whatever in it. Yeah. But either way, I need to try this out. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to lose. What? Are you scared to make a mistake? Are you scared to waste 50 pounds, Jay? And I say, you know what? Fuck it. I went to BQ and I bought three boxes of towels. The reason why I didn't do no live streams last week yeah, is because I was busy the whole week doing this small area. Yeah, It's just a small area, but remember, I'm not a tiler. Yeah? It's the first time I've ever done tiling. Let me show you the end result. So this is the end result. Yeah? Now, don't watch the mattress, yeah? And I need to get rid of that fucking mattress. It's been here since I started this work, yeah? But this is the end result of the tiling, yeah? Look how nice it looks. This is my first time ever doing the tiling. Now, if you see this little grey stuff around the edges, it's like the tiler um, grout and stuff like that. So I need to repaint the, um, the skirting boards and stuff like that and repaint some of the walls because some of the walls got dirty because there's this thing called tile adhesive. And it, it's what you put down to glue the tiles to the floor. Now it's dark grey and it flicked up and splashed on the wall. So I need to repaint the walls to clean it or whatever in it. Yeah. But look at the tiling job I've done. Uh, look how good the job looks. If if I didn't even it's not about it's not even like believing in yourself, in it, yeah. Ain't got nothing to do with believing in yourself, really. It's just don't be afraid to make a mistake. Yeah. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Because I could have believed in myself all I want, right? But I could have still fucked it up. But I said to myself, Jay, are you scared to make a mistake? I said, you know what, Leah? Let me, even if I waste 50 pounds or 100 pounds, let me just try it out. Yeah. And look at the end result. Yeah. If I didn't, if I was afraid to make a mistake, I would not have this tiling job now. And I love it. The only thing is, I had to replace five fucking tiles because they get these little stupid scratch marks all over the. Um, like you get little dumb scratch marks and that in it, yeah, which is partly my fault. Some of them had little chip marks and that um, on on the tiles in the box and that, like manufacturers chip marks and that. But look at the tiling job I've done. If I didn't even just take a chance, yeah, one tile, I said to myself, just one tile, put down one tile and see how you get along. And one tile turned into about, I think there's a total of about. Uh, 40, about 42 not whole tiles but yeah let's say whole tiles wise I say about maybe 35 whole tiles so yeah that 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 is what it takes man you have to have that mentality man that trust me for months like my hallway was unfinished yeah it was yeah there was no flooring in the hallway for months and i was just you know i'm in an R and oh, you know and i just said to myself you know what one tile you scared to make a mistake boy go to the shop and buy one tile 
and lay one towel on the floor and then we'll just work it out from there. Then bam, tiled the whole fucking floor. Now it took me a fucking week. A proper professional tiler, he would have done that in a, probably a day. Yeah, maybe two days because you have to leave it for a day and let the adhesive dry and then um, grout it or whatever. Two days, no problem. Yeah, that's a professional tiler on his jacks. Me, took me a whole fucking week, but it's my first ever time. Yeah. Now, before anyone said, oh, yeah, man, you doubt yourself. But, yeah, you try and tile your floor. Yeah. Most people would not do it. Yeah. Most people would not even attempt it. Yeah. So, yeah. Man had to, yeah, give myself, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, Nadi says she's proud of me. I'm proud of myself. And, you know, that's the ultimate thing. So, well and good people being proud of you, you have to be proud of yourself. Me, I'm proud of myself. Because I doubt in myself that, you know, doing the tiling job. Like, yeah, I'll take risks in business and shit like that, whatever, innit? But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. It feels good. It feels good, man. It feels good. Like, this is this this is the approach you need to have in life, yeah? Ask yourself, are you, what, are you scared to make a mistake? Are you scared to look silly? No, nah, man. Never, never be scared to make a mistake. Never be scared to to look silly if it's something that you believe in. People used to laugh at me when I used to walk in the shops with the with the light in the box. But people used to smile, and I know they were, they were mocking me. People used to smile and smirk at me when I used to go into the, the, the buildings and um, used to tell them about the vending machine business. Yeah, People who work on receptions and stuff like that. Yeah? They used to smile, I think that's the kettle or whatever, isn't it? I'm the one that's got two properties. Yeah. So you you might look stupid doing certain stuff, but then it will lead to other things. Now, last week I went and looked at two properties like on one day because they were on the same street. I didn't manage to get that property anyway. Uh, Thursday, I'm going to go look at a property in Milton Keynes, right? I only want to buy properties that I can fix up. Now, I always had it in my mind anyway to do property renovation yeah, because I'm an electrician. Yeah, so. But now, I know how to... I'm an electrician anyway, yeah, so I, I can do the electrics in the house. I know how to paint. Yeah, I know how to lay carpet. And I, need, I know how to do tiling. What more is there to do? And I know how to do plumbing. Yeah. Little basic minor plumbing, but I can change taps and fit little pipes and shit. I can do basic plumbing, yeah. I can do five things. I can I'm an electrician, I know how to paint, I know how to lay carpet, and I know how to lay tiles, I know how to do a little bit of plumbing, yeah. I can renovate, pretty much renovate a house on my own. Yeah. And most of the stuff tiling and doing the plumbing, I love YouTube. Yeah. This is yeah. If 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 I never decided to buy this tile, right, I, I would have still got into the property renovation anyway. I'm not saying I'm into it now. I need to buy a first property to renovate first anyway. Yeah? But this has given me that extra push now. Yeah, This... Blood clot, not my sofa. This one Ross Clark tile, yeah, laying that, has made me that's given me that push to say yeah you know what yeah let me go and start renovating properties more sooner than than i probably would have yeah that one tile one tile yeah i shouldn't i'm gonna make a video about it anyway, because i did make a little video about me doing the renovations like laying the carpet and painting and stuff but i was so focused on doing this tiling i made hardly i, I hardly documented it yeah literally yeah but this one tile, yeah, it started off with one tile, yeah, so this is why everyone always needs to try new things and step out of their comfort zone, yeah? you do not know, yeah, you could lay flooring or carpet in your house and then all of a sudden you want to become a fucking uh, property um, developer or someone who renovates properties, you don't know, I never thought that if I went to uni, I would start a vending machine business. You do not know until you try. Yeah. So you got all these parents out here that talk about university is a waste of time. Yeah. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Because it can lead to other things. If I never went to uni, 
I would have never started a vending machine business. If I never started the vending machine business, I would never have the confidence to leave my workplace and beforehand buy this property that I'm in right now. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> no, I don't, you never know. You never know. But I don't think I'll be buying and selling weave though, or making making weave. But that's how it starts, right? This is the thing, right? I think our problem as human beings is we look at the mountain, right? And all we do is think about getting to the top instead of making that first step. It's all about that one, that first step. Yeah? Like we've tied it, yeah? The most important tile that you lay is the first tile, yeah? Because that's going to determine whether it's going to be a fucked up job or not, really. Yeah? It's that first step that's the most important. Yeah? If I never thought about, you know, if I never thought to myself, one tile, just one tile, just put down one tile, and if you fuck it up, then take it up and then you'll try something else. Whatever. If I never thought like that, I wouldn't have had my hallway like that. Yeah? It wouldn't be looking like that now. I would have that cheap line or stuff down that I didn't really like. Now, I would have settled for it, but I didn't really like it. But yeah, the next thing is I am going to do my kitchen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo my kitchen. Yeah? I'm going to need to redo the tiles. I'm going to do the worktops myself and that. What I'm going to do is with the kitchen, you've got base units. I'm going to leave all the base units in and just change all the doors and change all the worktops and stuff like that. But yeah, this is where, it, this is how it starts, you know, just doing one little thing, painting a wall. Okay, I'm going to try laying the carpet, lay the carpet. I'm going to try tiles. Now I want to become a fucking... Um, uh, a property renovator now now again i always had it in my mind like from young like from years ago i've been watching homes under the hammer i always loved that program how they do other properties and stuff and so i always had it in my mind so it's not something i just woke up oh yeah i want to be property renovator i'll go gas door with some tiles whatever it? but when i buy the when i look at doing our properties and stuff like for me i think i can renovate a property with 10 grand easily in cash yeah because I'm going to be doing all the work myself. I know how to do electrics, I know how to paint, I know how to lay tiles, I know how to lay carpet, I know how to do a little bit of plumbing. What else is there to do really? Yeah, Maybe some carpentry shit like that. Yeah, If you can lay tiles and you can lay carpet and you can be an electrician, you can do a bit of plumbing, you can cut a bit of fucking wood. Yeah? This is how it starts. This is how it starts. It's the, yeah, if there's one thing you, 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 you take from this, yeah, the one thing you remember from this video, one tile, yeah, just remember that, yeah. If you're ever worried about starting something new or trying something new, taking that first step, just remember this quote, yeah, one tile, yeah, that's it. Just remember that phrase, one tile, because it, it worked for me, yeah, and it can work for you. I'm no more superior than anyone else watching this right now. Yeah, it's just that I apply myself yeah. and I don't allow my environment, how I grew up, where I grew up, to di dictate my future. Yeah, I take control of my life. Yeah, nobody run nothing apart from me. People can try and fuck things up, that's cool. I'm a conquer adversity, just like my book. <laughs>